Um, I imagine this will be Kunkka mid. It's another disable that Slark can't queue off that X back into a duel. Perhaps this is this is a miserable Slark game. He plays a lot of Kunkka too, right? I think I saw 232 Kunkka games or something on that screen. Oh, that's, a, that's a decent amount. Of, yeah, we'll see. Interesting to see what sort of build we go. And that's. Couldn't start any better for OG. So male first blood onto S4 after, of course, as we mentioned, S4 just moving into the lane that many more, of course, than listed in the patch notes because that summarization, 20% reduction on many talents. That can mean a whole lot of things, and we're going to see how that comes into action. So male's getting low, but he's got no tail by his side, comes in with the ink swell, and they'll kill off S4. So male keeps it cool. He had the one charges. Yeah, so hard. I think, if anything, though, he's, he's going to be tempted just to hang around mid. No real need to move to a side lane yet, as the Kunkka just continues to soak it all the free farm top lane as well. They get an Inkswell initiation onto S4, but no tail goes in pretty low for it. Ends up losing his own life, and Samael isn't able to capitalize on that play and actually finish S4 off. S4 is going to be able to live and get himself a bit of action. Getting those stacks up up to 14 essence shifts for the time being, maxing it out first. 1-1-3 one, one, build, so to hit that sub Legion commander. Yeah, and a quick little bottle refill mid, and now, limp. See if they've got the damage for this. They are going to be able to get the combo off the X mark into the boat. Have they got any more control? They have. The ink swell pops, and so does Limp's life. OG make the moves, get the kill on the DK, and can put some pressure onto that mid tower. Samel's going to start showing himself underneath this tower, though. Still hard for Alliance to make a, a play onto it. And as long as Samel's going to be hot with the shift, I don't know if they can kill this morph. He's going to start getting all the HP back up with these two TPs. Alliance, they've got to really think through if they want to stick around it. The boat's coming in, providing that buff towards OG. The Soulbind locking in both S4 and Limp together. They've got the Supernova stun. It will be successful and does catch out Wish, but he's a Kunkka. He is tanky and still with that run protecting him. He's able to head in the tree, still has a Fairy Fire and a Pretty full wand. A dive away is attempted by Hanskin, but he's pulled in by the Ether Remnant. So Mail goes in with the wave fall. Now they can turn their attention over towards Limp. Limp pops the one charges. No tail using the creep to set up as the ink swell will catch Limp. They've got the setup. So Mail turns into the DK to use the Dragon Tail stun against him. Limp's tanky. The Ether Remnant from Saxa is off the mark. They've got the silence. They're still trying to dive forward onto this. They get the hit with the nukes. Wish getting the angle for the tiebringer. So Mail goes in with the brief fire. A few more hits won't quite do it. Limp will live. And there's been Time for FNG to TP in or throw a few impetuses over the way of Samael. Extra TPs coming in from Alliance S4, watching from the side. No lasso available. So Samael's able to waveform away successfully. Will live. Maybe this slot can pop off and take over team fights, but it's going to take it. It feels like a lot of misplays from OG and where they don't burst Nico Baby or initiate on him. And talking about the man, he has got Shadow Dance, so should be able to play his way out of this. Pops it, but they've got so much AoE and control, it doesn't actually matter. They rip him apart through the ultimate, and they'll also take down Hans Ken's courier as a bonus. I learned that Astral Strep Step hits couriers just now. Oh, wait. I didn't excellent. know that the Void Mark damage killed it. I think that's what killed it. That was interesting. Um, yeah, there's, like we mentioned, there's so many things that they have for this Slark. Oh. So even if he gets a Shadow Dance, he's actually... Ah, they've stabbing. got themselves a grab. They walk in with the duel. They've got the damage to get the bonus damage. They don't, but they'll kill him after it ends. In they come. Alliance still trying to fight this. The Soulbind locking in. Limp and FNG. They turn towards Seb. They should be able to kill off the LC here. At Seb trying to run away, but the Impetus will finish him off. So Alliance able to take something away from OG there as Seb oversteps the mark. And it just doesn't add up to the point where these core heroes on OG are actually going to fall to the, the, the attacks from Alliance. No, absolutely not. There is a blink right now on the DK. This maybe okay. can catch and get some kills off guard before Sumail has the Lincolns, which is not for much longer, only 200 uh, See, they do get the initiation on Seb. Straight in with the Dragon Tail, Seb's in trouble. He starts to heal himself up, but Nico Baby's on top. A few more hits, they'll get the Legion, but the boat comes crashing down. No connection, but does buff up the team with the run. They turn towards Hansken. Hansken waveforms away, but the right clicks from Samel follow through, kill off the Phoenix. Alliance, they're still trying to fight on for this. Samel is building up the strength, turns into the bat, tries to knock the back with the flame break, but they've caught him out. They've outplayed Samel, he's messed up. He turned into the bat and was unable to shift any higher in the strength, so he is dead. Alliance getting a huge kill. What else more can they find? Nico Baby still pushing on. Has the Shadow Dance. Turns towards Wish. Wish able to pull him back with the X mark. Nico Baby won't be able to chase down the Kunkka because of this. But they do also find No Tail in the trees. Alliance able to do it there with that blink pickup from Limp. Catch OG by surprise. If you're able to sort of tank and allow Samel to go to work with a full AG, you are going to be able to do it. They are starting to move over. 
See if they can get in, Roche falling. A few more seconds until it goes. Then able to find the jump in on the outside. Gets on top of No Tail. They're looking for the scrim stroke. Samel committing onto the Roche. They'll finish it off and they'll grab the Aegis on the morph. Disarm onto the Slark. Nico Baby's got to back off for now. Dive forward from Hans Ken. Not wanting to commit the supernova yet. They've killed off No Tail. Can they get more? They try with the Dragon Tail onto Samel, but the Lincolns blocks it. Alliance. They found one kill. Sax is still poking around with Nico Baby on the side. Be able to head back over and secure that outpost back that way before the 20 minute mark. All right, make sure that they do keep one at least. Nice move there by S4, forcing bottom lane in for that. Ensuring his team does have that. Well, FNG. Looking to get aggressive, FNG. Let's see if they've got the burst to bring him down. They do. Seb's able to get in as well. Pick up a bit of the old plus 18 for his dual bonus. They're pinging actually on the DK here. It looks like Sumail really wants to go for this. Oh, they're going to try for it. They do manage to get the pullback with the Ether Remnant into the Dragon Tail stun that Sumail's able to utilize against. Okay, they'll burst him. Limp's dead. Quick play from OG. Seeing an opportunity to get in onto the DK. Limp feeling confident. And how are we seeing Nico Baby's items progress? He has completed his S and Y. So. Yeah, he's. Yeah, he's a pretty, he's a pretty thick slot. Oh! I mean, S4's gone for the last one to no tell, and it'll get him the kill. Will surely cost him S4's life, and it does. They get the trade, Samel zits forward with the waveform, but Nico Baby's around. Nico Baby getting held to the side by the Ether Remnant. Again, pulled off away, so he cannot commit onto Samel. Samel given the space to back up and set. He's looking for a chance to get back in, and he'll find it. Jumps in, gets the jewel onto Nico Baby. Hanskin trying to go with the supernova from the side, but the Slark, he's already dead. They'll lose the Slark. Their Aegis does go down in return for it. They don't mind that at all, OG. Killing off Nico, baby. The one big threat that Alliance have is a huge fine for them. Sep immediately moving down mid to skip the creeps, allow OG to push onto the tier two. FNG still playing outside of the base. And Samel, Saxa, they're on top of him. They're bringing him back. It's another kill for Samel to pick up. Five, one, and seven now on the morph. S4 is trying to poke around with Seb. Uh, it's hard to go on this Legion. Every time he's just going to have press the attack to heal himself back up. As S4 and Limp hide in the trees. Looks like they're going to use Nico Baby as the bait here. We'll see how effective that is. This is a deep move. Can they pop the Lincolns and grab him in time? No, instantly with a waveform. Samael's able to get away, and this whole movement is put to an end. Seb jumps forward, looks for the duel. Nico Baby up in the high ground. Has managed to isolate the supports of OG. Takes down No Tail. Lim goes with the Dragon Tail onto Saxa. FNG throws out the Impetus. Saxa will be able to zip away with the Astral Step. The Impetus still flies through, and in fact, Hanskin's there with the extra damage to offer up. Saxa, he will fall, but the Egg does as well. It's a two for two. Wish pops his BKB, now comes to an end. Nico Baby, he still wants to move forward onto this, but the disarm from the Halberd. He's got to jump back out. Limp goes in with the Dragon Tail. Nico Baby, can he get back in on this? They cannot because Seb, he's in. The dual control, it destroys the Slark. As Nico Baby will fall, and now things will start to crumble once again for Alliance in this team fight. Both FNG and Limp just trying to get out of here. Limp will be able to blink out in the trees and make it away. But FNG, he can run, but he cannot hide. One more blast from Samel. Actually, not quite enough damage there. He's going to live. All right. FNG, he's a liver. Oh, Samael, they got him, they got him, they got the man, he was alone, the jump was there, Link has popped and they did it, they killed Samael's morph, he's off the game for a full minute, can they get anything with this, down bottom Seb, the lockdown's there, is it going to be enough, Nico baby gets the chance to pop the shadow dance, now he's going to start turning and fighting back, he looks towards Saxa, he's got the pouncer ready, he will be yulsed up, but can they kill off this void spirit in time, no, Saxa, he's able to get another remnant off the dark pact, Nico baby's continuing to move forward, Saxa will fall, as well as no tail, Alliance, they're striking back, and S4, he's seeing if he can get the chase onto Seb, Seb, he's still running, S4, he's got blink, he hasn't got a lasso though, and he won't die for this, Seb's able to get away. I mean, Alliance, they are coming out around this mid lane to, to try and find something. They're going to get the jump on Seb. 
Instantly in with the Dragon Tail stun. The Dark Pack removes the Yule Seb. Pounced up. They'll kill off the Legion. Sorbine does come in onto Nico Baby, but Nico Baby is able to take the bug off and he wants to turn. Wish pops the BKB trying to come in onto Handskin, but he hasn't got quite enough damage alone to kill him. They turn over towards No Tail. This is going to be another pick off that Nico Baby is able to get involved in. Lim, he gets the Dragon Tail. He will get saved by Seb. With that press, the attack. Samel able to turn into the Slark and pounce away. Looking towards S4, but S4 keeps himself at a distance over the cliff. Nico Baby still with the Shadow Dance. Good to go. Moving in onto Wish. Wish backs away. Dragon Tail catches him. Yules from Saxa holds back Lim, but they're chasing in onto this Kunker. Nico Baby coming through from the side to make sure he heals back up. Seb goes for the duel onto the back, but the heals there from Handskin. The Sunray is healing the back back up, and Seb, he's going to be the one to fall. It's another kill for Alliance. Jump over onto the Kunker. Wish is getting low. He's got no BKB. He's got no hope. Alliance again getting the kills and able to outplay OG in a game where OG, they have full control of this from sort of the early game into the mid, but Alliance, they're turning it around. Nico Baby is coming online, and he's closer and closer now towards his Satanic. They're pushing in. This Aegis and Cheese, it will be theirs. Yeah, it's Aegis and Cheese, and now it's pretty much yeah. going to be a Satanic as well on Nico Baby. That, ch that changes quite a lot. Yeah, I mean, now it's, it, it, it is looking scary. It, it definitely is with all this HP, raw HP too. 2,500 health with all this lifesteal coming into play, with all this status resist coming into play too. So all those lockdowns are not going to last. Near, yeah, he's he's got high chances of surviving now. And with an Aegis 2 to come back. Let's see how much they can find. Seb again. It's a few times where Seb, he's tried to start things. And he's ended up giving his life up and, and wish. He, last, so. he goes for the BKB TP, but indeed S4 turning up in time. It's going to be another kill for Alliance. OG, they're starting to break down here. And Alliance getting some real momentum. As now they take the net worth advantage. And Slark as well, also going for the Scardi uh, over on Alliance's side. Nico, baby. So some big items coming out for the carries of both teams. They're going to knock on high ground maybe a little bit here, it looks like, because they still do have that time. They have one minute left on that Aegis. Oh, they, they're jumping forward. It's got the initiation. They get the Dragon Tail. They jump forward. The boat comes crashing down. Set will be able to get back up to the high ground. They'll keep the Legion safe this time. Nico Baby still looking to go in. He just heads up to the high ground. Does get disarmed. Nuke down low, but he pops the Shadow Dance. Who does he want to commit on? He turns towards Saxon. No, he just back. Samel, he's committed a deep. Samel's got to be careful. The torrent just lift him up. But Samel, on the front lines, and he's dead. They're without the morph. 85 seconds, Samael does not have buyback. A BKB from Wish being used only in an attempt to get him away. Alliance, they can push up to the high ground with no worry of Samael being up for the defense, and it's not over yet. Lim jumps in, initiation onto No Tail. No Tail buys back immediately. But Alliance, they're just killing them off, bullying OG back, and they're taking the high ground objectives. This tier three is gone, they're on towards the barracks that threatens them with how big Nico Baby is. They just cannot kill this Slark reliably, OG. He's far too tanky right now. And he's only just about to get tanky. The full Scardi on its way over to Nico, baby. Jump forward. Limp. Gets the opening onto Seth. They move in with the Slark. Does get pulled aside by the Ether Remnant. Les4 tries to go in with the Lasso. Saxa will escape. Nico, baby, goes over towards him. Staying in. Another stun onto Saxa. The Void Spirit will fall. Saxa does have buyback, but with Seb dead, it's another core out of the game. No buyback saved up on them. Lim jumps in immediately. This Dragon Knight, every single time. You know, we sort of talk about the power that Nico Baby has, but Limps jumps with the, the Blink Dagger. They've been phenomenal. Ever since that first pickup down bottom, every single fight, Limp, he's been the one to start it. He jumps in, gets the action going. They're in onto Wish. Wish pops the BKB. Nico Baby, he's still able to stand his ground. He does now back away. Satanic online again in a second. So we can recommit if he wants to rely on the lifesteal to get him back up. They'll get the Ether Remnant onto him, but it doesn't matter. They cannot get in onto this slug. Again, another jump for Limp. Dragon Tail onto Wish. Wish is without the BKB. Nico Baby does back away because Seb, he's in, finds the duel, but the disarms. Seb, he's not going to kill off this slug in time. Slug's going to be fine. Seb's falling low to the impetus. The Spirit Vessel is ticking him down. He's trying to get back to base. Will Seb live? He will. The Fountain will save him, but the rest of OG, they're in shambles. Samel getting pushed back. Another vessel charge to take him out of this engagement they lose Saxa and OG they're just throwing bodies at Alliance as Alliance clean them up it's now 15k lead for Alliance they're two sets of racks up OG they cannot afford for this smoke to go wrong it's been too long since they were able to make something good for themselves happen
Are they going to be able to do it here? Seb showing mid. Nico Baby and Lim. Lim's just going to jump in onto Seb. Again, it's Seb showing in the lane. Lim's going to play around with Seb. Off to the back lines they go. They go for the quick and easy grab onto No Tail with the lasso. They'll kill him off. Now Nico Baby turns his attention over towards Wish. Wish still has the BKB available. Tries to turn. He's trying to run. Nico Baby's going to stay hot on the tail of this Kunker. He's not going to let Wish get anywhere. Jump forward again from S4. Knocks back Wish with the flame break. It's another kill for Nico Baby. Now he can move over towards Samel. Samel waveforms down, but Nico Baby's there waiting for him. The bash is in place. Samel E blades himself in an attempt to get out of there, but the spirit vessel, the magical damage is ticking him down low. The supernova, it's ready to blow. Samel's dead into the base. Wish is getting chased out after he brought back. This game, it's absolutely over. Alliance have just decimated OG in this second half. After an, a, a tough start, this really was Alliance turning it to the maximum. And they, they played at a tempo that I think OG were just surprised at. It just seemed like OG lost themselves the last 20 minutes of this game. This Slark, whenever you see a Bristleback, you're thinking the Slark is all yeah. right. If they are able to delay the game long enough, Slark yeah. is the ultimate win condition. Hands down here, he wins I the game. He's prepared oh. with the regen. He's got a few tangos. He's actually just going to pop the sail straight up. Make sure that he's healthy for the lane. Something really satisfying about Pangolier's auto attacks. The Seb again, the Goose. The Goo. And it's just a little bit too powerful. They can slow him down a little bit with the Orbit Venom, but Nico Baby's just going to stay on top of Seb. And level one Goo, honestly, I don't know why you'd ever skill it any other way. This is how you get those kills on the Bristol. That armor loss, everything is just so damn good. Mid, and yeah, Limp's still doing excellent in mid. Let's see who gets the rune. I guess that's the other thing that Mirana has, right? You have leaps, you're getting a bottle, you're gonna get a rune. Oh, well, yeah, just get just get fortunate with the RNG there, Wish. Yep. Now I'm gonna pick himself up a regen up top. Nico, baby, he's getting low. Saxon needs one more touch. Oh, and he Ooh. gets it. They're able to kill off the Bristle. They could turn over towards FNG. Bottom. We'll see if they can get this as well. There's another swashbuckle available. They're gonna get the two of them up top. Double kill for Saxon. Meanwhile, down bottom, some out. Pounce back up and he's able to get back towards the tower, Popper South. He will live, so yeah, he's also got the Malefice if it was required to stop Nico Baby from chasing and Nico Baby knows it doesn't go any further for it. No tells well, to see This is not an easy kill for OG. They are gonna try and catch him off guard as Limp gets baited in. Cold feet will drop. As the setup required for the arrow. Very nice bait there from Wish and an excellent positioning from No Tail to, to capitalize on that top lane. They also lose FNG Alliance. Seb's able to get the kill, but Nico Baby's killed off Saxa. He's going to look to kill off Seb as well. Seb's got stick charges. He's able to turn Malefice. Nico Baby he needed one more quill spray, but he cannot afford to hang oh. around. Has to back away. One more tower hit would have killed him. Mars was picked away later, though, but. No, oh, yeah, but there's still something that was picked into into a hero that can work nicely against it. No, but down bottom, S4. He's already six. Mars, gets that opening straight on to No Tail. The move forward, try and burst down the AA. They'll get him. Samel so tries to turn, get a few stacks up, but can't commit onto them. Still yet to hit level six himself. Limp is hasting down bottom too. He wants Sumail. He wants to try to pressure this tower. I mean, if they can kill him before the six, that'll be a huge catch to get the exorcism out. They move in with no, but without the shadow dance, Sumail has no defensive save him that sort of rotation as he was rotating bottom too i don't know if it was limp or s4 or which one on alliance they actually glyphed the last hit of the tower onto the catapult no kept it alive this whole time no tail's teeping in to try and defend this s4 does pop the soul ring which of course ends up getting him killed as he takes hits from the tower on top of it don't let nico baby just abuse and farm their side of the ancients as well as their own so just deny that at least from that bristleback and keep pushing them out of the jungle a bit limp actually gets hit by that arrow mid I mean, Wish, he's been hitting some beautiful ones. Lips Holy dead. moly. FNG, he's, he doesn't get in and get the false promise off. No false promise, no save for Limp. Limp is dead. Now, may not have been able to get as much done as they would have hoped for, though, with the, the lineup they have. You know, we're seeing, what, 16 minutes in. With this DP, they've, they've only been able to push down one tier one tower, and that, that one was denied for them. Still the tier one in the mid lane, standing very Up. strong for OG. Look for the go in on to Seb. Silent stop and with the full three of them onto him. Seb still actually gonna get the chance. And then the throw with the black hole. And that's gonna set up for Wish to be able to clean up. He takes down Lim, looks over towards Nico Baby. Nico Baby will be saved in top of FNG, but Saxa rolls in. Beautiful angle to so the all three of them. FNG is dead. Wish turns over towards S4. He'll now look towards Nico Baby. Nico Baby falling low. The He's trying to juke it. Wish is getting low. He's salving up high to the tree. Wish will survive. Everybody on Alliance dies. Wish. 506 on this Marana, they just cannot kill him.
mechanisms that alliances supports have. Yeah. There, there's just also there's there's amplification too that comes out right. That's another thing that I was looking at for oh, the Mirana. Talking about Lim. Too, so Lim. Right, the mate could have gone him. He has got the siphon off, healing him up. But the micro's there, set with the helm of the dom, using that Ooh. sense. Stun him up the once, in they go with the bottle Limp, pause the silence. Limp falling low, but he will live. Able to turn with the siphon, but no wish. He's able to jump in, clean him up. Another kill for the Marana and the gang as they chase on for more. Hanscan being split apart from S4. Wish leaps forward. Hanscan will attempt to run away from this, but he cannot escape the reach of this Marana. Monster kill street for Wish. 807 and still just untouched this game. Yeah, they're acquiring just so many items so fast. The Rush already dropping too fast. I don't know. The lines they, fighting in this area is scary. They can't go for this one. They cannot stop OG from grabbing this. Samael to grab that Aegis. Already sacks to poking. Rinos down. They do go for the silence. The Ice Blast is going to pass through the two of them. They'll commit in with the Snowball and the Punch Up, and they do kill off the AA as well as Saxo on the Panko. Both supports are down. Alliance, they're going to sweep across, look for more. Not too shabby. Mjolnir also very good with the Ice Vortex as well. More magic damage going to be plowing around. And there's lots of different damage instances that will be coming out from Quills and from Ghosts and whatnot. Oh, Samael. You want to go. It's bad FNG line. outside of the base. S4 will be able to push Samael away with the spear. Samael turns over towards Hans Ken. They iron turn with a punch, but they've got to step away from this slark. Samael's just too strong right now. They lose FNG on the Oracle. Hans Ken's held outside of the base. Both supports of Alliance getting caught outside and away from the tier 3s. They turn over towards the tier 2s, OG. They're ready to start moving this push up towards the high ground. Limp's doing his best to attempt for some sort of split push action, but he's got to return to, to help his team defend. They're starting oh, to lose to tier 3. Another connection jump in from Seb. Malif is on S4. S4 will go down. There's no buyback on the Mars. Samael's getting low, but he's got the Shadow Dance. We'll be able to sneak away and heal back up to full. Saxa also able to jump outside of the base with the Swashbuckle. There was a buyback from FNG. Does stop OG from maybe diving for part of the game now where we can expect to see Alliance hold the high ground. Don't leave the base. Just wait for the throw. Going out of the base is going to be pretty dangerous right now. Oh, a DD spawns bottom too, Wish. He's got the bottle. He's picking up Sumail. He's looking for FNG. He's I mean, on him. He's just going to go in. FNG knows that there's nothing he could do to stop the inevitable right there. And jumping up to the high ground, Samael's ready to hump for more. Hanskin's able to get the cough in time. They do manage to get the silence of the Samael. He's been smeared mid. Back onto the tier fours. He gets punched up. That's the throw I'm talking about. Oh. The black hole. Seb, he's in. He gets the fourth of them. But the BKB was already off for Lip and Seb. He's taking his from the tower. He's dead. Never underestimate the power of a throw. As Elias Wish. might have a chance here. Wish is tanking the tier three. He goes for the TP out. Ooh, oh. whoa, whoa. He makes it away. Wish is not quite at the throw levels of Seb or Samael. So not no new patch. Helping out Alliance a little bit there. Fair enough. Oh, Still Samael. gonna be looking for action. Samael. He wants to start it. Like, but he's dark packed There's gonna be an opening for them to find the spear into the arena. Samael is getting low for the backups there from Sack. Comes in with the rolling thunder. Nico baby turns over towards No Tail. They've got the dust onto him. This AA will He's silenced, taken down by the Quill Spray for Wish and Sax, so they'll turn towards FNG. They do manage to get rid of the Oracle. Now Samael committing onto Hansken. He's getting those stacks built up, but the Halper disarms. Samael's got to back off a little bit. Seb is trying to move in. Helm with the Dominator, but a jump forward from S4. The burst is there. They take out Seb. It's another good fight for Alliance, and it's not even over yet. They're looking over towards Wish. Wish, he's already used the BKP. S4 again gets the angle, the spear. Yeah, come the trees, sets up for the triple kill for the Bristleback. Alliance, they're winning these fights. Nico Baby's power level's increasing. And S4 hitting these spears like no tomorrow, and he does it again. Once more, the connection onto Saxa. Saxa will fall. Samael, he's trying to fight these heroes here. Nico Baby is low on mana. Halper to Sam onto Samael. S4, he's going to have spear up again. He gets another connection. Shove Samael into the trees. He's, the he's got Shadow Dance in two seconds. Shadow Dance in two seconds. The central uh -oh, 40 seconds. Can look for the punch up, but there's the Shadow Dance. Samael, he's hitting fast and he's hitting hard. Over towards Nico Baby, the ice shards from Hanskin do protect. Take Nico Baby. Excellent placement to push the mail off to the side. Nico Baby is playing around with the idea of getting back in, but he's low on mana. Roche is going to drop before they get there in time, though. Now, it's Aegis Cheese. Wish also now picked up a full MKB after all this, anyway. Oh, well, there's DD down bottom. We'll see if uh, Lights catch wind of that. They're actually going to try and fight. They jump in with the silence onto the two of them. They're trying to get rid of No Tails. Nico Baby.
him down during the silence. He can. He's dead. He turns over towards Wish. Wish having to pounce away. Nico Baby still trying to stay on the target, but Samael, he's looking for the back lines of Alliance. Heads over towards FNG. Rolling from Saxa. Burst down with the Malefist. They kill off the Oracle. And over towards Hanskin, maybe. They're eyeing him up with the Hellbear Smasher, but they want to turn back over towards the Pistol back. The big tanky boy. S4. He's in. He's got the coverage. The arena's down. The spear again. Locks down Samael. It's the two-man silence. Limbs moving in with the Exorcism. They kill off one. They're going to be able to turn towards Samael. Yeah. They kill out one. They can. They take down the Aegis already on the back lines. Hanskin's trying to chase down Seb. Seb's got to back away. Mika Baby's in. They've got the damage with Limp and the Ghost. And Wish, he's got to run out of this. He's got no BKB. S4 for the angle. See what Wish can do. He's got no lead for five seconds. Yours is there. S4 moves into position. This spear, he will miss. But it does not matter, or does it? No, oh. it does not. Wish will fall. Samael's still trying to fight. He's got the Shadow Dance available and will pounce up to the high ground. Limp's chasing. Zaxa will push him off with the swashbuckle. Limp has to back away. But it'll stay at full HP with the spirits coming back in towards him. Just by Nico Baby in that entire fight. He just chased him with Goose and he didn't have enough leap stacks to actually get back into the fight. He has to BKB and kind of just run out of there defensively. I, I mean, Alliance is actually bringing it back here. This is crazy. They really are. Man, again! S4! He's got some mail! He catches him into the bash. Can they lock him down? It's time he's silenced some mail! Silence! He's gonna die! He's dead again! S4! He just cannot stop making these plays happen. We shouldn't necessarily be too hard, of course. A lot of the time, Nico Baby is to the liner as the bristle. Mm -hmm. Smoke Seb up, S4. And he's clipped Seb perfectly. Arena down, Seb is out. No chance, KB. The ra Get out of it. No tell, we'll be able to TP away. The dust is out from Hanskin and Wish's BKB ends. Wish, he's in trouble. He's only got one leap left available. He's, he's not even getting the chance to use it. S4's in. A spear right down the, the throat of this Marana as he spears him to the tree. No mercy from S4 on the Mars this game. And the, uh, so these are just the comebacks you love to see. You know it. For the first half of this game, everybody watching was like, well, okay, this is over. But no. No, it's not. And look not at Nico, at baby. All. He's just going in. He's just running in with the BKB. He's moving towards the fountain. It's on some out. He's dead. See if Samael's able to live through this one. Rolling forward with Saxet. As they do manage to get him back in with that Lotus Tool. But now he's in pretty deep. He's been silenced. He's rooted. Again. Samael, he's in trouble. He's dead. No buyback. He's dead for 100. Alliance is just going to move in up to the high ground. Look towards this tier 3. They're on the verge of 2-0 two two OG I mean, in a series where both games, it looked like OG had it. They just keep getting Samael every time. And he doesn't have a way. Like, he's just getting silenced. I saw the Minotaur horn get popped there for a second, but he just gets re-silenced afterwards. I know. To the top lane they go. I mean, even wow. if Seb does find a good black hole here without some mail, they just don't have the carry to, to tear through this bristle. And there we go, jump forward. Onto Wish. Black Seb. hole's down. Step. BKB in the black hole. Just catch the two cores and then. Woo! That'll do it. That will do it. That has allowed OG to stay back in this game. Seb will hold. S4, he will sneak away in the trees. And it is into a Roche immediately with a Refresher oh. Shard on it. Well, that would be great for Seb. Get that Refresher Shard on Seb, right? And you can get straight back in there with a second Black Hole. Especially if Samael's able to get a few stacks built up in the fight. This is this is getting into a tense position for both teams. They, they have to force the Roche on Alliance. Because they know the Black Hole is on cooldown right now. So just absolutely force it. Try to make sure that you can get it. Sax is in. Starting to poke with Nico, baby. The arrows are out. Clip on Roche, Nico Baby's able to commit. Pop. KB is looking to finish it off, but he gets back. Saxon, he's trying to. The Aegis is picked Nico up. Got and he's got the refreshing shot and the cheese. Nico Baby pops the BKB in an attempt to back off. Alliance, they got what they came for from the Roshan. Can they get some kills on top of it? Yes, they can. Sax are down. Buyback immediately from the Pangalier. Limp still with the ghost going. Samael, he's trying to get back involved in this fight. He does still have the Satanic active to rely on. S4, jump in. Wish. He's got the catch yet again. S4, spears in place. So wishes for Marana. Samael's trying to go for FNG, but FNG, he's staying alive with the false promise. They punch up Samael. Samael, he's 
got to be careful. He's been dusted up, possibly shattered as he's trying to stay on hands again, but he's been silenced. FNG will finally pop out for the false promise ends, but Samaya, he's in trouble. He turns towards Nico, baby. He's starting to light steel back up, but Hanskins in with the control. The snow falls in. Do they have further detection? They don't. And Samaya knows it. He comes back out of the shadows to start to continue to light steel. Looks towards Hanskin. Hanskin throws down the shards to live, but he's blocked off. Samaya's able to get round. They kill off the tusk, and he's Black dead without ready. buyback. Samaya, he's not done yet. Moves over towards Nico, baby. The Aegis has got his set. He's in. The Black Hole brings back the DP despite the BKB. Limbs locked down. And no, Nico, baby. They don't have buyback. And Nico, baby, he's going to go down as well. No buybacks. They are out of this whole two minutes of the game where OG can now run down mid and do so much damage to what Alliance is base. I, I think believe, they're just going to throw them. Smoke has 58 stacks. It's, oh, it's, my it's, God. It's game over, dude. It's game over. It's game over. Oh, my. All right. Dota 2, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we're, we're having the comebacks and a half this, this series. Uh, yeah, game one was excellent. Game two, the, uh, an extra twist to the twist. Alliance able to reclaim the lead, and then OG able to shut them down. Despite what, even looking back, I, I feel as you said, that was probably the right play for Alliance to buy back and, and contest that Roche. Oh, we certainly did, Banks. Yeah, game two and game one, we've had some brilliant games this series, and can't wait to see what we get here in game three, OG versus Alliance. Deciding take this series and already actually kicking off down bottom Saxa he blocks off hands him OG's going to be able to take first blood and uh, what even better goes the way of the mid lane I wish he's going to be the one to claim that to start this game off yeah hands was thinking about fighting back a little bit I'd say even with a stick charge it's not enough to sack so just roll off take the bounty down bottom, Samel getting low, but he's moving in onto S4. But Sacks are coming back in with a swashbuckle. They're going to look to try for this kill. S4 goes for the sprout, the TP, but they're able to break it down with the doppelganger and take the kill. At the same time, though, another death from No Tail on that top lane. No Tail's died four times so far in this first five minutes. A fair yeah, bit of golden it. XP going towards the Wraith King lane. And Seb? Uh, already level 5 on the uh, Wraith King here. Seb. Oh, Seb's going down here as well. FNG, if he can do some good body blocks. Nico Baby's oh, going to nice be able to walk. Walk. A couple more slaps. He's diving in for this one, and he's got it dominating on the safe lane. Nico Baby with four kills before the six minute mark. Which is going to be okay. CS wise in that mid matchup, still very even. Hey, he's going to get this whole tower here. They even have a TP up from S4 too to guarantee it. Maybe even try to set up for a kill. Yeah, if he can get some good body blocks with the Treants, they've got him. S4's trying his best with the Micro and it hit. Well, it's, it's brilliant. Blocks are perfect. And that'll set up for the kill and the tower. Excellent TP in from S4. FNG also on the high ground. This is OG trying to fight as the four. Saxa steps up, takes a brain sap to the face. Limp's here now. OG's got to start backing up. They do still have the tier 1 to hide behind. Samael is not ready to turn and help. As they'll dive forward. Bush in trouble. Slow down S4 with a deep TP to get some coverage behind the trees. Roll for from Hansken. He finds the stun on Saxa. They're just running at the Alliance and it is working perfectly. Wish will fall. Saxa dies as well. Seb's trying to find FNG, but he doesn't have the damage or control to take him out immediately. FNG still alive. Hiding from Seb in the trees. The Eidolons will find him, but it's three dead on OG. Alliance are able to resume pushing. They'll take another tier 1 tower. As we say, 2400 onto that Radiance. He's also got the Reincarnation available for the next fight. So it's... OG's trying to defend their jungle. They really want to clean back this outpost and control their own jungle, but the Beans grips from the low ground. Yep, they've got that vision. Thanks to the outpost and that ward that will now fall. Seb does turn with the Malefice. He's still alive. And they do he manage to limp. kill off Limp on the back lines. It cost Hotel his life. And OG, can they look for more? Wish still with the Dragon Form. Has the damage onto S4. Saxa, he does swashbuckle down to the low ground. Nico Baby stepping in. He's trying to make moves towards Seb. The Rape Fire Blast lead into the roll. Wish has managed to pick up the double kill. Alliance are still fighting on the back. Black Seb, hole. he stands his ground. The Black Hole, it grabs Hanskin. And Nico Baby. Nico Baby can even kill off the Enigma. He will, but he dies the once he needs help fng watching from the side what can he do to help out his wraith king uses the nightmare to hold back the dk samael still trying to chase but nico baby's up to the high ground he will live i still want to fight here alliance exorcism arcane rune in the bottle so definitely wants to get something done with this exorcism after the arcane is popped saxa 
He's rolling in from the side. The Ice Blast. See who it connects on it. It's going to be Hans Ken. Hans Ken looks to be the one to fall first as he gets caught here between the cliffs. Roll four from Saxon. Does get held in place by the Beast Grip, but they commit on to Nico Baby. He's down. He did have just enough mana for the reincarnation to go off as now they can turn around, look towards Wish. They get the silence on the Dragon Knight. Wish will fall. Alliance are able to hold their own, take the fight in their advantage. The Radiance enough to apply enough damage to bring down even these tankier targets. It's it's gone. Is it still going Pango? Can he still do that thing? Yeah, wait, hold on. You're right. He can yeah, still, he can still grab himself. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That, right? It's the old thing. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah pango has got it. Bottom. The push is coming out soon. Mel actually uses his doppel forward, and he does not have his manta on him. Oh. They get the silence. They got the follow up into it's the second silence. stun. The control, it's there. Alliance. Oh, he's low. Oh. Yes, he gets off the top ball. He's still alive, Samel. He off. He's going to be able to get away. Lim's trying to chase, but Samel, he's out of there. The ghost, they're chasing him, but he rushes over to the creeps. Does finally fall. They get it. S4 in position to slap him down with one old right click. They do get the PL kill. Pretty early on in this game, it's going to be nice. Just like you said, blocking the mana burn, blocking all just the little nuisances of stun slash instances of damage that can come out as Lim. They want him. There's the initiation into the Ice Blast. It's going to bring him down low. Does manage to get the Yules off in time, but the Ice Blast debuff is upon him. He cannot heal up and Limp will... Quick jump from Wish, catching Limp off guard. Except though, he's alone on that high ground and he is looking to get brought down very quickly. Wish is trying to help. Wish has jumped in for this, but they've got the Orchid on him. Wish is going to take a huge amount of damage from the... And No-Tail. Dies, the kick back onto No-Tail. And Seb, I, I kind of looked away from it. I didn't expect OG to continue to try and go in, but what, I guess Seb saw something that he felt he could commit on. I mean, but the, yeah, the break in itself, just good enough. And also just the fact you've got another tool that, that may save you rather than having to pop the BKB. You know, if, if you get a caught in a position where Samel's trying to make a go, you can just sneak away with him. Uh, they got the damage though. It's, it's tanky hero to go on. And Wish is just going to be able to turn Dragon Tail off to Hatken. Again, a little bit of a discoordinated uh, initiation there from Alliance. They didn't really have the means to follow it up, and now they may lose more. Because Wish is charging forward. Another stun onto FNG. Limps pop the ult and attempt to turn this. It's a double buyback from Alliance. They really want to make a go here. They get the silence on the smell. Smell pops the man to the sprouts there. He's able to jump out with the doppelganger. They're still on top of them. They have the siphon. Smell. He's trying to run away. Great fire blast connects. Smell. He's silenced. He's going to fall for this one. And now with the exorcism still going, they'll run down mid. They'll look to put some pressure on towards the tier two here. As OG, they've got to back off. They're trying to escape. No tail cannot run away from this one as Hanscam rolls in. Another connection with the boulder. They He's more. dead. S4 tries with the sprout, but Seb's able to blink out in time. He'll get out. But Alliance, those two support buybacks coming into play. They hit back hard at OG. And he's got the Shadow Blade finished up. He's getting Looking that. good for them. I can lead. I mean, you're looking good for them right now, but... Game, okay. we've seen some... Incredibly back and forth game so far this series. Seb's found. Ken is in. Great angle with the silence. Seco Baby popping the BKB. He's stepping in onto Seb. Does Seb want to blow the black off for this one? He doesn't. He'll accept his fate and fall. Wish tried to step forward for this, but he's been silenced. Nico Baby's going to have the follow up stun. Wish is falling low. He's still holding on to that BKB chance. Finally pops it and will be able to walk away. They take down the Wraith King once. Can they do it a second time? He has that Shadow Blade. He walks away. I don't think they have to take it. They don't. In fact, the Fiend Script. They've got Samael, Samael. He still gets the chance to doppelganger out. Wish is committing onto the back. Nice. Gets the two kills. Wish will survive. He lives through this there's three dead on alliance limps bkb about to wear off saxa does he want to try and chase can they get anyone else back in on this nico baby walking away they won't fight forward i'm okay all right i just i keep like testing i'm like oh god i, I went loud again i got excited i'm sorry <laughs> i'm just worried about the neighbors i'm waiting for <laughs> nico baby's in oh i'll get seb they may just get Wish's one. No, Wish has got the BKB. They turn. That's the Ice Blast in onto Nico, baby. He's got Reincarnate available. Can they take him down the want? He's falling low. They will. They'll put the ultimate limp. Trying to chase down Samel. Samel having to back away. Let's see if they could get anything more of this. OGR retreating. They don't want to fight into the exorcism of limp. They will happily wait this out. Look to fight after the ult comes to an end. Wish. That's what I say that. Wish steps back forward. Hanskin just rolls forward. He's been clipped, but it doesn't matter. He got the initiation they needed onto Wish. Wish goes down. They'll try and chase for more. Sax is able to get the Rolling Thunder off in time. Jumping off to the side. No Fiend's Grip available on FNG for 15 seconds. But he sees Samael. That's the Nightmare setup. It's going to be a Fiend's Grip up in 10 seconds. They roll forward. Hanskin finds the Sun into the silence. Samael will turn. Take down Hanskin. Limp tries to push it onto the PL, but Samael could keep his distance. Saxa. 
cannot run down into the edge of the cliff as Nico Baby slams him down with a crit. Back up here, the buyback comes into play. Saxa wanting to help out his teammate Seb. He's been sprouted up. S4 starts a punching. The silence is in. Nico Baby turns the grip. It grabs Saxa immediately. This is a dieback from Saxa. The Pango dead a second time within a matter of seconds. I mean, Wishes is rather close. He does have to be careful. And we'll know they've got vision of them there, hit by the wrath. As Roshan goes down, Nico Baby grabs the Aegis. Just sticking on targets is hard though. The triple BKBs get popped and the fights are already difficult before that for OG. Ooh. Charging forward here. Don't you get the, the dust on, on Nico Baby? They are going to have to fight for him twice. He's got the Aegis and the Reincarnates. Upon it, the silence still managed to put the Manta jumps out to the side. Saxon comes in with the Rolling Thunder. Lines over. Can. FNG gripping up Wish with that cast range from the Ether Lens. He just Full holds grip. him in place from a mile off, kills off the DK. Sax is just trying to split them up, pull the attention away. But Nico, baby, he's heading in. He sees that tasty old snow cone of a hero and he'll take him down again. This game, he has just killed off No Tail time Samuel? after time. Samel's been silenced. He is tanky with the heart, but it's a long duration silence locking him down. He's falling lower and lower, does still have the Doppel and the Manta to rely on, and a buyback comes in, but the hits from Nico, baby, are chunking Samel down very low. He gets a few more, and Samel will fall. Samel trying to fight back. He's got Doppel back up, and uses it to jump to the side. The break is there for Nico, so baby. He's chasing this down. The Radiance is burning, but it isn't burning enough. Samel will live. He gets himself away, and will be able to rely on the heart regen to get him back up. But some male really dancing with fire here in these team fights. And now he's going really back, charge back in. Nico, baby. He wants to take away some of these extra lives that Nico Baby has. We'll get the one of them. Reincarnate down. Can they do it a second time? They've got the Shadow Blade, and with that in mind, these two heroes do not have detection. Nico Baby turns, break fire blast onto Sax. The follow up lockdown from Hanskin Seb. He's moving into position, but he has no black hole for still 80 seconds. They kill off the Wraith King again. Samael is starting to clean up big time. Can they do Nico it for baby. a third time? Over towards the Wraith King they go. He doesn't have the backup needed. They get the big kill. Samael starting to clean up big time right now. S4 pots the BKB, goes for the TP. Nothing to go through it. But Samael coming online big time. I know, I mean, everyone's been in the pub game where there's been a mango tree at the base and it's been surrounded by 100 mangoes because nobody's bothering to pick them up. As yep. you say, OGs, you know, there's some smart boys here. A couple of, you know, a few TI winners in this stack. They know they what's up. They have zero mangoes at the base. Like, oh, Seb. Yeah. Right, though, Seb. They're trying to go on him, and they'll get him. Seb's not going to get the chance to get a single spell off. The Rolling Thunder is there onto Hatken, but no tell. He's dead. Double kill for S4. Turns over towards Wish, but with the BKB TP out, Wish makes it away. Yeah, someone's got to get on top of the bang. Whether it's Seb, of course, himself with the Black Hole, or just Wish, or Blink, just looking for FNG's position. Or Soxa. I think Soxa is actually a great potential, because he could bait okay. him to use the ult on the Rolling Thunder if he like, jumps in the back, right? Yeah. And then it gives Seb an opportunity. He's got the Arcane Rune. Let's see how it plays out. Well, down there they go. Nico Baby's going to be the focus first. They go in this... But Wraith King, can they take him down the once? BKB's popped by Wish, he turns over towards Hands Can the Earth. First casual Sam jumps in, looks for the black hole, but instantly gets caught. There's FNG with the grip from the trees. Shuts down Seb's black hole immediately. Reincarnate off from Nico Baby. He's ready for round two. Saxa, he's trapped up on the high ground, does manage to swash buckle down on the back line. Samael, he's working through the supports. Takes down FNG, he's been silenced. He's into the great fire blast, into the stun. Lip, he's got the silence as well. Is it long enough to lock him down? He's falling low. Samael will go out of the game for a hundred seconds they've killed off the pl lions have done it here in this team fight they can run down mid he does oh. not have the money for buyback saxa will be able to get out in time we'll get slowed down a little bit but so much time they have to actually push this forward here 60 oh, seconds yeah. still without sumel it's just looking very very nice for alliance on towards the bottom it's just a long time without Samael. This carry that OG absolutely needs to have any shot of taking a team fight against Alliance's five man. Go for the As Megas. I think that's yeah. the safest that Alliance can do right now. They could take what they want here. Towards top, Nico Baby actually seeing an opportunity to lead it. B is going for kills. They say screw the Megas. We want to start killing some more of OG. There's the Malefice out onto Handskin. That dive will cause the death of the Earth Spirit. And maybe even more, Saxon's able to roll in. 
pop down uh -oh. the Wraith King once, rolls across towards S4, S4 pops the BKB, right clicks down Saxa, but Lim, he's getting low, pops the Lim's BKB, dead. it doesn't save him, Lim's dead, Sip goes in with the Malefist onto S4, pops his own BKB, there's the other Dragon form back up on Wish, they're looking towards Nico Baby, Nico Baby was able to find the melee racks, fortification, keeper the range tracks alive, but Nico Baby turns, crits down the AA, a buyback here from the DK, jump in with the Dragon Tail, they do manage to get the Mega, so they got what they came for, Alliance, but not without the a fair few casualties. They lose three heroes, soon to be four, with Nico Baby having no off for five seconds. They pop the Wraith King. OG will keep the game going, but they have been mega creeped by Alliance. And they also have pretty much the full tool set back online. Seps got the black hole. Wish. Elder Dragon forms there in 30 seconds. Of course, Somali's level 26. He's queuing up the Rapier. FNG is going to try for a very, very ambitious play there. Tries to jump in, won't get anything at all uh, other than a quick trip back to base in a casket. Yeah, there's a level on Eco Baby. That would have been great oh, if they had that before, okay. but... So, run down mid, BKB, hit tier fours, hit ancient, one game. You don't want to mess around. You don't want to give Samael the chance to get his rapier. Even though that, that opportunity to, to not let him get it may have been passed by S4 is up top. S4 is being sneaky. They have lost no tail. So it's the has got the, the rapier money. somehow has got the rapier money. Does he buy it or not? He's bought it. We've got the rapier, boys. Time to get the Pog Champs out. He's ready to hold. Can Samael somehow carry this game even through his full full sort of items? We, we did see a last fight. They can kill him. But this time around, he's going to kill them so quickly. If he's able to have free reign on the fight. He's chasing. Samael's going deep. This man, he's hungry. He's hungry for kills. Ooh. Nico, baby. In the back lines. He's being sneaky, too. See what opening he can find. He's able to get it onto Wish. Goes in with the Raid 5 Blast. Samael's going to come across and start the Raid King. BKB popped by Nico Baby. Wish pops the cheese back up to full. Samael, who's going to turn towards Siphon and the BKB is healing up hard. They cannot fight for the DP's regen. Wish does go down. Samael's got to be careful. He's already down two heroes. They're both without buyback. Handscan rolls in. Samael pops the doppel. Turns over towards FNG. FNG's got the control though. He turns the nightmare. Samael, he's able to get out of it. But the Fiend's grip. The grip. FNG's got him. He's got the real one. FNG reads the target. The illusions are killing FNG. But the Fiend's grip control. It's long enough. He's done it. He takes down Samael once. Aegis has popped. The three dead the on OG. It's Samael against the world. Up. Instant silence into the hex and you know what let's just say it. the royal jelly got him killed there right fng check the illusions yeah, he to grip. that's yeah no that's uh that's what we're going for on that one but that's it that's game over that is game over ladies and gentlemen gg is called a brilliant series will unfortunately finally come to an end but it's been a great time and an excellent time indeed for alliance they take the series against og two to one and my goodness, you know, both teams, they gave us a lot of entertainment. But at the end of it all, Alliance, they were the top dogs this day. They, they, they really...